Hello everyone and welcome to our Tableau desktop training videos provided by Tableau Coach. Um, our goal is to help the Tableau user community by creating straightforward training videos and if you enjoy watching these videos then please subscribe to the channel. In today's session we're going to discuss the very basics of Tableau desktop. Okay, let's begin. So what is Tableau? Tableau is a business intelligence tool for visual data analysis. It's basically a tool where users can cre quickly create and distribute interactive and shareable dashboards in the form of graphs and charts. Tableau has the ability to take your data from several data sources, including Salesforce, Excel spreadsheets, text files, and several others, and quickly create awesome visuals. So let's connect to an Excel data source so I can walk through the layout of the des um, Tableau desktop. Um, I'm going to connect to the sample data source provided here um, called Coffee Chain. And uh, basically, when you connect to a data source, Tableau assigns each field in the data source as either a dimension, as you can see here, or a measure. A dimension, it's a field that contains discrete categorical information fields, where the value is either string or Boolean value. Boolean meaning true and false. So in our example, we can think of market, product, or the state fields. Measures are fields that contain quantitative numer numerical information. For example, we have sales and profits. And one thing actually to note is when you click and drag a field from the dimensions area to the rows or columns, Tableau creates a column or row header. And you'll see that once we start building a report. So let's take a product and double click on that and profit and double click on that. Here you can see that product became a row, uh, a, a header and it came from the dimensions. And then the profit numbers became little text numbers here aligned with the products. So one cool feature of Tableau that I really like is the show me tool, it's right here. So once you click show me, all these little charts come out and um, Basically, any view here that's highlighted, you can quickly click on and create. And anything is gray is not coming up because you don't match the appropriate minimum requirements. The minimum requirements are written down here. So as you can see, for a Gantt view, what we need is one date, one or more dimensions, and zero to two measures. So we don't have the date. That's why that's not highlighted. So let's just click on different ones. So you can have a heat map and see how quickly the, the dashboard is created. You can have a, a highlighted table, you can create a pie chart, horizontal bar chart, stacked bar chart, tree map, circle views, box and whisker, packed bubbles. Basically at the click of a button you're able to create several several different charts. So as I said some of the charts we can't create because the type of data we have is not in the view. So for example we can't create any of these map views because we don't have any geographical data displayed. But if we add something like state and double click on that, um, we can automatically see that the maps, they, they become highlighted. So let's create a filled map. And you see, immediately we have a filled map um, with, with product on rows. And if we actually, if we remove product from the view, we can see that we have this cool looking map of the United States and then based on the sum of profit, we get the different shades of green. And um, there, there are diff different things you can do here. So let's quickly talk about the marks card. So under the marks card, we have color, size, label details, and tooltip. Let's see what, what we can do with the marks card. We can change the color. So if we click on color and edit, um, one thing I like to use is orange to blue diverging and apply. It just it looks good, um, the contrast of the orange and the blue. Another thing we can do is we can add the transparency. We can add some borders to, to make it cleaner. Um, what else? We can also add labels. So let's say we want to see the profit numbers on label. And let's say we want to add the state name onto label. That makes it a little clearer for us. 
Um, another thing here that I mentioned was the tooltip. So the tooltip is basically when you hover up over a state or any item on your visual, it provides some information. In this case, we have state Colorado and profit of 17,000. So what we could do is without adding or without cluttering up our visual, we can add things to our view. So let's say we want to add sales into our tooltip. What we need to do is drag sales onto tooltip and click tooltip. And now we have sales in there. So you can see now we have profit and sales coming up. We can also clean up the tooltip. We can remove the word state. We don't need that because anyone who reads Ohio, they'll know that that's the name of a state. Um, we can change the font size and color, make, make the state a little bit bigger. And now when you hover, you can see there's Colorado and there are the profit and sales. Okay. So another cool feature of Tableau is it's very quick reaction to calculations. Now let's say instead of the sum of profit per state, we wanted to see the average profit per state. What we need to do is we go into this field of sum of profit and we do quick table calculation. Oh, apologies. We, we go to measure and we change it from sum to average. And there we go. Now we have $67. So it's, it's very quick to change. And um, another thing we could do is we can create calculated fields. So you can open create a new calculated field by either hitting the drop down here and say quick create calculated field, or you can right click into this um, data bar and say create calculated field. And let's create um, a simple calculation of profit, profit ratio. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need the sum of profit close that over the sum of sales now one thing you'll see on the bottom here is the calculation contains error so when you see this message the dreaded calculation contains error message what you need to know is you can click on it to see the details and sometimes you'll get some insightful information such as this expected closing parentheses um, and in some cases it won't make sense and you can just try googling it but I did this on purpose just so you can see that we can't apply this um, calculated field unless we fix it. So what we needed to do is close the parentheses and now it says the calculation is valid. Now we can say apply, okay. And now it works. So what we can do is we can put it, put the profit ratio onto label and it's not looking pretty because it's a decimal. So if we right click and say format and edit the field profit ratio, and change it from numbers to percentages, maybe remove the decimal places. Now it looks cleaner. So we have the actual profit ratio on there. All right, so let's spend a minute on filters. So filters are a very effective way to restrict the number uh, or the amount of data for analysis. And let's say you wanted to filter on product type. You just simply drag this to filter. And let's say you only want to see T and you hit apply. And then you say, okay, let me close the show me bar. So another cool thing with filters is you can say show filter and it'll come up here on the right. Um, you can, you know, continue to filter and it will quickly change the, the way this map looks. You can also change the type of filters. So right now we're using a multiple value list. You can have a single value list where you can just select one at a time with radio buttons. You can also have a single value dropdown, makes it cleaner. And the, mul multiple, the slider, this doesn't really make sense here, but we use this more for date filters. Then you can have the, the multiple value list, which was the default one that we had. You can have multiple value dropdown and so on. There are just different, different types of uh, filters that you can play with. All right. So let's cre quickly create one more view and bring in the market and total expenses. So double click on market, double click on total expenses, and we have our numbers there. Basically, um, and this is, we don't have too much data to play with here, but 
when you have a lot of data, this is a good tip, but we can basically sort the data in descending or ascending order. So one way we do that is we click on market and we say sort, and let's say we wanted to sort on descending and the field we want to sort on is total expenses. So we have to select that, say apply, and now we have it sorted. Um, let's say we want to quickly use show me and use the bar chart view. You see we get this these four bars. One thing you can do is actually there's a shortcut. If you hit control W or if you hit this button, it's called swap, control W, you'll basically be able to swap the rows and columns and change the view immediately. So let's add the total expenses to our label and we can actually get rid of the axis because we don't have that many data points and it's not looking very clean. Um, we can also add the, let's say we wanted to see the type of coffee and we can add that on colored. So we have decaf and regular. Um, basically, we, now we can see which type of coffee makes up the expense numbers for each of the market areas. All right, well, this is the end of my little introduction of the basics of Tableau. So thanks everybody for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more Tableau training videos. Thank you.